Hi, welcome back. Another important session. After a long time, we are doing a direct session for a topic which is very, very important. Okay. Today's topic is LSMW. LSMW means Legacy System Migration Workbench. The full form is. So what is this LSMW? Where exactly it is useful? And we'll try to drive with one good example. Okay. So this is basically a transaction which is a uh, the program, the standard program behind uh, for LSMW transaction, which is actually useful to drive to do the mass uploads. So in my videos, I already explained how to do the mass uploads. Mass, mass means by using MAS, mass transaction. That is has a limitation, but you can able to upload bulk data, especially where exactly it is useful. Okay, so for example, let's go to the slides. So types of data, you can consider what kind of data you would like to upload bulk. For example, in your practice, you may create one customer, two customer or three customer, but you would like to upload like, you know, 10, uh, some 3000, 5000 customers at one stretch, LSMW will be useful. This transaction is very useful. And now S4 on also, we have another transaction that is called LTMC, okay? And one more technical transaction is there for mapping system system that is called LTMOM, okay? Remember these terms. In S4, Anna, some, someone might ask an interview question, what is the uh, current tools we use for data migration or data loads from system to system or else within the system, which tool you are going to use? The transaction is LTMC and LTMOM for S4 HANA. So how about LSMW in S4 HANA? It is still available because we have already used in our project certain places wherever it is required. Okay. This is the fact I'm telling you LSMW available in S4 HANA all versions. Okay. No regrets for this. But additionally, we have something called LTMC and LTMOM. But most of the times LTMC they are using LTMC migration roles will be there that has a more flexibility compared with LSMW, but it has its own advantage. I'm telling still we are using it throughout our rollout projects, LTMC, but some places wherever there are errors and some correction and some data need to be uploaded for certain field. We have used only LSMW. This is the background of uh, real time. So where exactly it is useful. It is useful for customer master data upload material master data upload either create change okay transactional create change your bomb data condition master data it can be any master data profit center data for finance like you can able to use this transaction in a broad way okay so let's see this customer master data with one example because i'm from sap sd background probably in uh, i can able to show you metal master and transactional data in future sessions but Basic level understanding should be required. Okay. It can be anything. That's what I'm telling. It can be anything which has a flexibility. You can able to do it. Okay. So LSMW. Let's do customer master data today. Okay. And all these are the four steps available. Okay. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, that's 14 steps. Previously, it used to be a older version. It is 16 steps, okay? But here, uh, like, you know, two steps, it is got reduced. But in that few steps are very, very important. If you follow the care, if you follow carefully the video, then everything works perfectly for you, okay? Okay, let me try to open SAP session so that we can work for the same thing, okay? Now let's see practically how it works. I'm just doing live. Okay, let's see. LSMW. This is a transaction where it opens. So you can see this welcome to legacy migration workbench. The LSM workbench is SAP system tool supports when copying the data from non-SAP to SAP systems. Okay, so especially we can able to use in different ways, but uh, we'll see one of the method today. Okay, so here project, sub project, and object will be there. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let me try to 
remove all these things. Okay. Let me create the project. You can create one project. Under that, you can able to create multiple sub projects and multiple objects also. Okay. So in this, let me try to do G customer. I'm just creating. Okay. Let's uh, try to click on create entry. Okay. It is asking customer mass data upload. I'm just giving this one the name. So immediately it will ask for sub project. Okay. So I'm just creating a Gcast. Okay. CMR data. I'm just giving some meaningful name. Okay. So in that, what is the object? G customers. I'm just giving the naming convention in real time. Either we, we use Y or G actually. Okay. So I'll give the give master data. Okay. Let's get into this. Okay. So now once you given project and sub project and object, there is nothing to worry. Okay. Under a project, you will have a sub project. You can have multiple sub projects. And after that, under sub project, you can have multiple objects also. This is how it works. No worries about it's a technical tool. So we are trying to create customer master data today. Okay. Let's click on create. Okay. Let's uh, uh, once we create it, right? So let's click on execute. Okay. Now you can able to see the screen, uh, which already I have shown you in the slide, the same thing we came back. Okay. So let's click this maintain. This is one of the key important step. Okay. By default, sometimes it came in change mode or else display or change mode. Just click this by default. You can able to see all these are there. So default, now it is showing standard batch or direct input. This is one of the method you can able to do that. And second one is most popular method. Most of the functional consultants trying to use this one only batch input recording. Okay. Third one is a business object method. BAP is with BAP is means, okay. Business add in programming interface. Okay. So this is the technical term, like, you know, to save certain data to database, they will use it and you will have different kind of BAPIs will be there. So this is one of the method. Next, IDOCs. IDOCs also, for IDOCs also, we can able to use the same process. You can able to see message type, basic type enhancement on all those things, okay? So don't worry about that. For initial practice, you just try whatever I am saying. In future, I will show a few more also. So let's come to batch input recording. Okay, here if you see this, this recording we are trying. See two buttons are there. One is for more recordings. This is for recordings. Wow, you just click this button. Simple. Okay, so once you come here, you can see this recording for this project is G customer is there. Okay, so let's click create recording. It is asking recording name. Okay, I'm just giving G cust. I'm giving. Okay customers upload. I'm just giving this one. See, this is my user as of now, practice user. So I'm just giving here. It is asking immediately which transaction you would like to record it. Here I can give XD01, XD02, or else VD01 or VD02, or else FD01 and FD02. Depends on the data, how you are going to upload for your user, okay? In the similar way, if I can able to do MM01 and MM02, MM02, Okay, and in the similar way, like, you know, CSG Raman or CSG, either bomb data or else uh, whether you take any condition exclusion or inclusion or else uh, transactional data like VA01 and VA02 for sales order, probably you can go back to uh, like, you know, delivery VL01 and VL02N and uh, your invoice VF01 and VF02, like for that uh, cost center data, or as profit center data, GL accounts data, you can try this LSMW irrespective of any module. Okay, I'm just giving this example for, uh, from my side, probably you can try different, different. Let's see this. Vendor master data, you can do it. XK01, XK02, MK01 and MK02. 
okay like that so let's get into this let's do today central data customer central data i'm trying actually okay here you try to understand one thing when we are this when we are doing this record means like you know this we are giving memory to uh the process optimization process optimization means we are we are giving this recording based on this recording we will try to upload by using the same method that means so a you created b c d e f till z like you know or else one you created 2 3 4 5 how many, n number of records you can have, able to upload it this recording whatever the process i am doing it is record it will record okay once it is recorded then we can reutilize the same process for further customers one customer i am creating in recording method i can able to utilize the same process for other customers also here you try to remember the same process so for example what is the basic thing when you would like to save any master data it will be stored in database by holding one unique number range the number range for customer if it is internal number range you need not specify anything that is the ground rule if it is external number range definitely you should have to give it how the how system will come to know external number range okay if it is internal number range from account group it is linked then it will pick automatically okay so don't confuse yourself let me take i'm just taking zi01 okay so the sales organization is also zi01 okay the distribution channel is j1 and the division is x1 this is what i have created but if you don't give account group it won't understand from where it need to pick the number range okay this is also i'm just giving z01 from here everything is common press enter from your keyboard you can see this it is asking so you can able to fill the fields which you want it but mandatory fields 100% it should be filled for example i am giving here uh jai hanuman okay i'm just giving this is my customer jai hanuman so private limited i'm given search term i'm giving uh like uh, tom okay so i can give what whichever i want it for example city okay frank fort i am giving uh, probably i can give the country as germany if i want i can give india also no issues so 02 okay hamburg and language key english i have chosen see in this mandatory fields are very very important you have to choose this press enter okay so it went to next screen if you want some fields you can able to fill it or else you can skip it so i am just giving the nelson id probably this customer classification uh probably i can give the industry codes these are the th three data i have given if you want some bank data you can fill it as of now i am skipping this one loading unloading pass i am skipping this one and this is about uh, your export that you want it okay you can able to fill this if you want okay press enter i am just giving mandatory reconciliation account okay so i am just giving payment terms so what is the mandatory you have to give the mandatory fields at least for your recording okay so i am given here press enter press enter so probably if you want you can able to try to give some more data like for example i am giving uh this one uh, so i don't want it this sales group also let's give the customer group so in this example i am just giving this one no issues so probably i can give the pricing group how many fields you give that much data you need to fill be ready for that okay customer pricing procedure i am giving okay and still here it is fine and delivery priority i am just giving high and i am just giving my shipping conditions so probably as of now i am just giving 02 and if i want i can give my delivering plant also okay i'm just giving this the center so so here invoice dates i am giving okay you have for being co terms okay so hamburg i am giving 
so here also i'm giving my payment terms even optional also i'm just filling for recording purpose i just wanted to show you this one okay here it is asking one taxable and i can give another one taxable okay then press enter if you fill all mandatory fields only it will go further okay see now it is got see you see this the customer below you can able to see this so 1013 it is got created within this sales area what you have to do is just have to click see all these are the fields it is generated so it recorded means so you, system took the memory of all these fields in recording mode so you have to default these fields okay this is very very important step okay so probably you can able to see what are all the fields get defaulted your orange color ones right so all these fields you can able to fill it so let's try to save okay back so back so here once you finish this let's come here if you click here the recording will come automatically so if you click this see gcast this is the important step okay again save this see data save go back so next maintain source structure okay let's execute this okay go to the change mode create this so customers str okay source for customers I just create it okay once we create it select this and save this now go back so this is one of the key important step like how you have first step and this step is very very important okay so before going ahead for this step let me try to show you okay so this is my youtube channel currently i'm holding 1000 uh, plus professionals as subscribers you can able to see and learners also okay currently i'm holding uh, 400 and plus videos if you really wanted to enhance your knowledge you can subscribe it if you really like it you can like my videos and it will be appreciation from your end and when it comes to online profile i am currently holding 3643 students okay he is the my course this is the course for sap sd sales and distribution which is 90 hours this video also will be added here okay 90 hours and all my youtube important tips maximum 60% which is useful i am i accumulated here and apart from that you will have a detailed course of sd okay sales and distribution 90 hours with the 314 lectures and probably you can see if you are not at introduced to s4 hana better try this if you are from uh, ecc sd background learner you do this in real time it will be useful so i am pointing out the topics where exactly useful for uh, real time to attempt that i am giving here okay for s4 ana but ecc it is a full course okay here you can try this three scenarios explained two with internal number range and uh, external number range and this is a course basically useful for every beginner in respect to of sd mm fico or else you are from pp ps project integration you try this getting master to write functional specification this is one of the key course i detailed about each and every section how to write a document it is very very useful you are see not only sap your skills to manage the job which is which is very very important if you if you are beginner if you are not at introduced real time you should have to do it if you are already in real time nothing required okay because probably like you know you might get some experience in enhancement support project or implementation project but i am telling you i am giving this instruction how knowledge you all you are there on the tool in real time these kind of things matters your skills matters so better try this course i keep on telling for each and every consultant you just try to read it i have given one template actually you try to write your own spe functional specification this is for pricing sap sd pricing concept okay i have 21 hours so one is for rebates and this is s4 hana i have regarded pricing you try this course also here i explained standard level all advanced concept which we can able to use standard scope of uh, pricing actually
okay this is sap s4 hana inter company sales and consignment sales and this is fsm integration all these courses available um, in udemy if you'd like to really enhance your knowledge i have done a hard work if you wanted to get into the same level you better try all these courses you will not be disappointed okay especially this course some places something will be there okay like a very very keen field by field explanation it is there if you are if you are beginner then better get into this course and you will not be disappointed i'm just providing these links below of this video you can try this okay now let's get in get back to the topic actually okay sorry for taking time to explaining about my courses but uh, let's let's go further so now we are in third step maintain source fields let's execute this okay so now click here okay so what we have to do is just uh, 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 before going ahead just go back i'll show you before before going ahead i have shown inside of the maintenance source field you select i i came back okay you select this one click on object overview don't forget this this step is very very important object overview you can see this list or table it is asking okay click on the table so now you can able to see all these fields need to be whatever recording you have done again as that data mapping should be required actually what you have to do is so just do one thing see you see this this is a structure and uh, this is a structure actually we found the structure let's select this okay from here steps are very very important this step most of the people will confuse don't go inside instead of that i have shown you for your reference come out and click on over you okay let's copy all these fields okay come back so this is excel sheet make it ready take two tabs okay part one i have given the name whatever you want it you can do it okay let's okay you got all these things right so now what you have to do is okay, one second let's take from here anywhere you can paste it it's not a big deal okay what you have to do is just select this column first column okay we are ready for data preparation once we came to the third step we are getting the things ready for data preparation okay let's copy this control c from your keyboard or right click or copy go to the data preparation okay so now keep the you know cursor here right click okay so you see this this is the step paste with special this is one of the technique like you know some some guys will do manually also it's not a big a big issue but uh, you don't get more mistakes here okay paste on special choose values okay click on transpose these are the two steps you have to remember values and transpose now see this everything came in horizontal way what are the fields okay this is the excel technique now let's go back and again where is this go to the top actually okay so these are things we want it copy okay so now go to the data preparation again right click paste special values transpose okay this is how you have to copy you see this above is the technical field below is the user understandable user understandable field actually this is the table they are making and giving to you in real time like you know for upload i mean to repeat the same thing in support actually lsmw like you know if any new customers uh, you know came back to go live or something like that onboarded so this is the place this is the this is the template actually you are giving to your customer actually now let's see this how we can take it further 
now let's see further okay go back to the part one okay keep it two tabs like this okay so here the place where what we have this is the place where okay right uh, like uh, you can take capital c okay let's try to click okay all should be changed actually okay so try to remove this column i will tell you why we need this one now you got it right what you have table name and field description type and length this is the length of each field actually this is character type or else numeric value this is sounds all about okay let's go back so now source field thing we'll do let's click on execute okay select this execute this okay now see generally if, if you wanted to create a single field then you can create and you can map it but since more fields are there you just have to check this on table maintenance you can able to see what we have field name type and length okay field name type and length actually okay let's go back so field name okay this is type and length so then i don't require this one let's right click and delete okay from here so it's copied make sure that everything should be copied totally how many rows are there 34 rows are there till tax okay let's see how many will be copied remaining if it is not copied you have to do the manual copy so let's copy so how many are there i think everything is copied one two three four five six so this is very very important step okay so let's save this okay so now you got fields automatically right that's why you don't require from field it will pick the field description automatically okay go back okay so now what you have to do is save okay this is the step three next is maintain see whatever the steps i have filled you can see this whatever the action i have taken suddenly you know my sap is expired also from this step onwards we can go ahead okay there is nothing going to happen so next step this just select this okay so you need not do anything uh, like can i say this okay this step is very very important again the fifth step okay maintain field mapping and conversion rules okay if i execute this okay so these are the fields are there if i go to the change mode okay so now we have to prepare the file and we have to upload here okay select this out of field mapping is there na that you have to do it okay so this is one of the key step let's keep it here let's try to prepare the file now okay so file preparation i'm doing so let's see this this step go to extras go to click on auto field mapping this is one of the key important step okay so let's click this here you can see this if you want uh if you want if you want you can make it 100 no issues okay so like 
let's click this okay so let's click on either accept if any fields if you don't want it that also you can decline it let's click on this let's click 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 so i'm just accepting okay all fields so you have to press enter from your keyboard okay so auto field mapping is completed so that means which fields you can able to see this if anything is missing also you can able to cross check here okay so let's save this so how many which step you are there sixth step so this is if you if you have translations or user defined routines are there it is required until unless we uh, don't required if you would like to fix certain values you can able to do that better go to the this step okay specify the fail before going ahead this one you have to prepare your own data this is little uh, hectic now and live i'm recording uh, so let's uh, try to prepare the file now okay let's see this go back to the excel if this session is expired probably i can able to do it as a part 2 okay so let's uh, let's feel that you are the end user so let's take some records okay so let's see this one by one okay i do one thing i don't want to uh okay let's see this will prepare now let me take five records suresh mahesh ganesh rahul i am getting some names feel that ramco rambo okay so this is the the what you call table name and transaction code actually you know these these two columns if you, actually you know for upload we don't required let's see this okay i delete it sorry for this okay let's see the company code our company code is zj01 okay the same company code i'm just doing so i think this is sufficient i have the same sales organization no issues let's copy distribution channel j1 let's copy this one also okay let's pull here okay so what is your division division is x1 i have created so since it is a customer is internal number you need not fill this one name you have to give okay ramesh suresh mahesh okay vinay rahul when I, you give your own names i'm just giving it as a sample name assume that you know it can be company you know that right individual customer or some name i'm giving sort field okay win i am giving as a sort field you can give your own okay city city i can give hamburg okay like uh, frankfurt okay so i can give anything like uh, the same thing i'm giving this one hamburg or else i can give this one for a different reason 
region like uh, uh, like um, Kolkata. Okay, this some city name. Okay, okay, let it be. So the country key. This is DE. Okay, what is the country key you have selected that we should know? Let's go back to SAP slash four XT zero three. Okay, this is the customer we have created, right? This is the customer. The okay. country key DE. No problem. If you want, you can see because it shouldn't be wrong actually. So let's come back. So DE, DE, DE. This is India. This is DE. Okay. No issues. Region. You can give anything 0, 1. So this, see, always remember one thing. So let me try to check control enter you can see this this data should be always in text otherwise prefix it won't be allowed home okay so here general is there right so let's keep it as a text okay so otherwise it won't allow you so let's give 01 02 02 so like a sum 10 I'm giving so again this is 0 1 okay language code en 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 so let's go to the Nelson ID what we have given previously if you want you can give different different so so let's go to the control data so go to the marketing okay j0 how many we have so many are there so something we can able to give it if you give also no problem i'm just for a difference i'm giving j0 j1 j0 if any data wrong is there it will fails okay j1 so let's come to kukla customer classification okay so if you want to see this one fully come here so is customer classification whatever i want i can give but still i can show you let's go to the sales area data environment where, where is this body classification Not this one okay let me check something else Let me check. If I can give some example, that would be good. Here I can, this is the place better. <clears throat> yeah. What are all the values I have? Let me give A, B, C, and all. A, the value should be, shouldn't be case sensitive. Okay. 
you can prepare this data okay let me try to go below name brsh industry key so industry key what we have selected in my customer preparing file only it will take time so this is live then i'm just showing everything is live let it go in the time how much it will take okay AZRL <clears throat> Agro Limited. As of now, I'm giving the same value. Okay. ID for non military use. If you want, you can able to maintain or else keep it blank. Okay. Reconciliation account. I'm just giving the same reconciliation account. Terms of payment. As of now, I'm giving the same. So, so currency, I'm just filling euro, euro, euro. So, like. Uh, this is INR Euro. Order probability, if I want, I can give it. KDGRP is customer group. If you want, you can maintain. Let's go back to the customer. Ten. So probably I can give something. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. If I want, I can give the different data. So let's. I'm giving 20. Okay. So pricing group 0, 1, I'm giving as of now. You can take anything. Actually, in real time, this file will be filled by customer. Pricing processor. Delivery priority. Ah. So if you want, uh, you can fill indicator and all and shipping conditions I'm giving 0, 01, 0, 02, okay, 01, 0, 02, 0, 01, okay. Delivering plant, GI01 I'm giving. This is the same plant I want it. Let's move. 
maximum number of parcel deliveries per item if you want you can maintain it let me keep it this guy five this guy nine this guy five this guy nine this guy what else let's keep it nine Invoice dates zero one. So it will pick the calendar. Inco times F O B F C A. Okay. Let's take something. If you want it. C A P C A F. F C A. DD P. So I'm just uh, trying to fill uh, real data so that it can be useful. In go time two, I'm just giving place one. So place two. Let's try to pull. You can give your own names. Okay. Almost we reached tax classification. Okay. So what we have to give here? Let's check here better. Either one or zero, you can able to give it, but still I can show you. So this one. Okay. So what are the values we have for a difference? If you want take, you can take it. For this only one value is there. Let's uh Let's keep it one. Okay. Mm. Since two classifications are there, so that's why it is coming. Okay. So I think we have filled all the data almost. This is zero one. Okay. Let me check any gaps are there. So let's try to check internal number you need not give. Okay, this field. So let me check. Okay, check. Customer, what we have created. Let me check what is this field. AWAHR, okay. Okay, let it be. Okay, let's keep this data. So, 
what you have to do is this is the purpose like why we have copied about two columns okay so like uh, let me select either we can try with excel or else we can try with notepad also that's not a big deal okay so so data home you know how let me keep it one more time text 